The Supreme Court today backed the center's move to scrap special status to Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370 of the Constitutional and Order Elections next year. Article 370 was a temporary provision to ease Jammu and Kashmir's merger with India, said Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur, reading out a majority Supreme Court judgment. The Supreme Court said Jammu and Kashmir should be put on par with other states at the earliest and as soon as possible and called for state election by September 30, 2024. By which the state is subordinate to the Indian constitution first and only then to its own constitution. Seventh, all states in the country have legislative and executive power, albeit to differing degrees. The constitution accommodates concerns specific to a particular state by providing for arrangements which are specific to that state. Articles 371A to 371J are examples of special arrangements for different states. This is a feature of asymmetric federalism, like Article 370, which became applicable to Jammu and Kashmir on the adoption of the constitution. The state of Jammu and Kashmir does not have internal sovereignty which is distinguishable from the powers and privileges enjoyed by other states in the country. And eighth, the limited question before the constitution bench in its decision in Premnath Kaul was whether the monarch held plenary legislative powers after the constitution of India as it applied to Jammu and Kashmir was adopted in the state, but before the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir was adopted. A decision is an authority for the proposition which it decides the question whether the state of Jammu and Kashmir retained sovereignty upon integration with the dominion of India did not arise in that case. Jammu and Kashmir did not retain sovereignty when it joined India and its constituent assembly ceased to exist at the moment it merged with India, the Supreme Court said, explaining the decision. The Supreme Court, however, also explained why the state continued to enjoy special status even after it merged with India, despite the state not having internal sovereignty. Prime Minister Narendra Modi termed the Supreme Court's verdict on Jammu and Kashmir's special rights as history. It conveyed a message of hope, progress and unity. Former Kashmir Chief Minister and NC leader Omar Abdullah after hearing the Supreme Court verdict said he was disappointed. According to Omar, their fight will continue. It took BJP many hours to reach this place. They are also ready for a long fight. Article 370 gave Jammu and Kashmir its own constitution and decision-making rights for all matters bearing defense, communication and foreign affairs. Its removal ended special status to the state. Contained with Article 370 was Article 35A, which allowed the erstwhile well state to define who is acknowledged as permanent residence and gave special rights, such as government jobs and owning property. The Supreme Court said it did not find it necessary to see whether the recognition of Jammu and Kashmir into a union territory was valid since it was a temporary agreement until the election and restoration of statehood. We report big news.